Hi guys, this is Michael from Theme Canon, and in this video I'll show you how to install the Birch theme and how to set it up to look like our demo site. I'll assume that you've already installed WordPress and that you've downloaded the Birch theme bundle from Theme Forest. Alright, so first thing you need to do is to locate the theme bundle zip file and unzip it. Inside you'll find several folders. In this tutorial we'll need the Birch content folder which holds the demo files and of course the Birch theme folder which holds the theme zip file itself. Alright, so first thing we need to do is to install the Birch theme and plugins. Go to your dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, and upload theme. Locate the Birch theme zip file which is located inside the theme forest bundle and is simply named birch.zip. Select and install. After installation remember to also activate the Birch theme. Once the theme itself has been activated, you'll be prompted to also install the Birch required and recommended plugins. Simply follow the instructions on the screen. And also remember to activate the plugins. Once installed, you can go to the plugins page to check that the Birch plugins have been installed and are active. If we go to the front end, you'll see that the Birch theme is now installed and active. At this point, you can either start adding your own content and customize the theme settings, or you can install the demo content to make your site look exactly like our demo site. Some users prefer this as it gives them a good starting point where content and settings have already been created for them. To install the demo content, go to WordPress Dashboard, Tools, Import, WordPress. If you have not yet installed the WordPress importer, please do so now before continuing. Now go to the download bundle and navigate to the Birch content folder and select the content XML file. Select upload and import. At this point you can choose to also download and import file attachments and finally submit. The process of importing may take a while, sometimes even several minutes, so be patient and make sure you don't interrupt the import process. At the end of the import process, you will almost always get some fail to import notices. In most cases, you can ignore these as they simply point out that we have some plugins on our preview site that you do not have on your current installation. If you want to double check that the demo content has been imported successfully, you can go to post and inspect the newly imported content. And while we're here, let's get rid of the default hello world post like that. And if we go to the front end and refresh, you'll see that your site is now populated with the demo content. At this point, let's also import the demo site theme settings. Locate the file called settings.txt in the Birch content folder and copy the content. Go to Birch Settings, Advanced, and paste in the code in the Settings Data window. Click Import Data Settings, and in the front end you can now see that the front page has been set up like our demo site. One thing missing though is the menu, which has not yet been assigned. Go to Dashboard, Appearance, Menus. Make sure the primary menu is selected, 
And at the bottom, make sure you assign the primary menu to the primary menu theme location. Save menu and go to front. Refresh. And now you have a menu. At this point, your site should look exactly like our demo site, and you can start modifying settings and add your own content. One last thing I'll show you though is how to import the demo site sliders. To illustrate this, let's change our hero unit to display a slider instead of a post grid. Go to Budge Settings, Header and Footer, and in the Homepage Feature Builder, select Slider and Save. If we go to front end and refresh, you'll see that the theme is now trying to display a slider, but no sliders can be found. To import the demo sliders, go to the Revolution slider, click the Import Slider button and import both of the demo slider files. An important step once the demo slider files have been imported is to go to Slider 1, Settings, and in the Post Categories, select the post categories or tags you want to display in your slider. In our case, we'll select the post tag with slider, save settings, and when this is done, you have to tell the hero unit to display the newly imported slider, so you go to Birch Settings header and footer, feature block slider, and make sure the slider 1 slider is selected. So save. Now when we return to the front end and refresh, you can see that the slider is now displaying. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video, thank you for watching and see you soon.